Just got a new iPad Pro? Congrats! Don't want to spend hours setting it up? I hear you. This video will go over the simplest way to transfer your data from an older device to an iPad Pro. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, welcome to DIY in 5, the show where we make tech tasks easy enough so that you can do them yourselves. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and today we'll be discussing how to transfer your data from an old Android or iOS device to the new iPad Pro, or any Apple device at that. If you find the tips in today's video useful, please feel free to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. For those of you looking to transfer from an Apple device with iOS 11 and later, the setup is pretty easy using Apple's automatic setup. And if your device is using iOS 12.4 or later, quick start. Simply keep both devices in close proximity to each other when you power on your new device. Choose your preferred language, then tap continue on the pop-up asking if you want to set up using an Apple ID. At this point, you can use your old device to scan the image on the new device, enter your passcode, and proceed to set up touch or face ID as you'd like. You will then be given the option to transfer data from one device to another, restore your apps and data from a recent compatible backup from iCloud or iTunes, or from an Android device. Agree to the terms and conditions and you're good to go. A similar option is using iCloud. This completely wireless method is pretty simple and involves going into the settings of your old device, tapping your Apple ID, then iCloud. Here you'll see iCloud Backup and you can tap Backup Now. Once that is complete, you can go on your new iPad, follow the instructions for initial setup, then tap Restore from Backup and tap Agree. You'll have a bit more options to choose from as you finish setting up, but you will be mostly good to go. There's one more data transfer method available for my iFriends watching today, and that's restoring from a Mac. If you'd like to set up your new iPad Pro from a Mac computer using macOS Catalina and later, there is no longer an iTunes app to handle backups. What you'll want to do is connect your older iPad to your Mac, click on Finder in the dock, and click on your old iPad in the sidebar. You can then back up your old device to your Mac. Once that's complete, you can disconnect your old device, plug in your new device and choose it from the sidebar, at which point you'll see an option to restore from a backup. Choose the backup you'd like to restore, then follow the instructions on your iPad to complete setup. Now, for those of you migrating from an older Android device to a new iPad Pro, you have a few options. The first is using Move to iOS, an app from the Google Play Store. First, you'll need to make sure you've got a decent Wi-Fi connection. Then download the Move to iOS app on your old Android device. Then begin setup on the new device and when you get to the apps and data screen, choose Move Data from Android. Then go back to your older Android device and open the Move to iOS app and tap Continue, tap Agree. The app will then ask for permissions to access your content. Then tap Next in the top right corner of the Find Your Code screen. You'll find this code on your iOS device. Enter that code on your Android device, select the content you want to transfer, and let the process complete. This may take a little while, and note that it's best to leave both devices alone until the transfer finishes. You can also move your data manually if you'd like. For mail, contacts, calendars, documents, books, and more, Apple's software will work with Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, Kindle, Dropbox, etc. So by logging into those accounts on your new device, a lot of that should be available to you already. To transfer your photos, music, and video files, you can connect your Android to a computer and copy everything over to the PC's hard drive. If your computer is a Mac, you will need to install Android File Transfer first. After the photos and videos you want are fully transferred, disconnect the Android device and connect your new iPad to the computer. At this point, you should be able to copy these files over to your new device. If your computer doesn't have the extra storage space available, you can also use an external flash drive or SSD. The Kingston Data Traveler 80 USB flash drive is a great example of a device that makes this process super simple since it's a USB-C flash drive with super fast transfer speeds for quick and convenient file transfers. Anytime you're switching from one device to another, especially if you're going from Android to iOS or vice versa, there's going to be a bit of an adjustment period. Hopefully this video has helped to ease that process at least as far as the initial setup is concerned. Alright, thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5.